Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. Okay, look. You are the one that got away. You are like the skip song that they later found out was fire. <laughs> they later found out that you was fire. But for a lot of situations, it's too late. It's way too late in the game to try to come running back, to try to see your worth now, to try to see your value now. Or maybe they did before, but they thought that they had time. Maybe they thought that they can see what else is out there. And this is not, for some, this is specific to a romantic relationship. For others, this is just a relationship, period. And for some, this is about a business venture. You are like the skip song. So whatever applies to you, take it and leave the rest. But you are like the skip song that they later found out was fire. They slept on you, quite honestly. They did. They were in denial. <laughs> they were in denial of your worth. They were in denial of your value. They were in denial of your capabilities. You are like the skip song that they later found out was fire. You are the one that got away. You are the one that got away. They didn't think that you would leave. They didn't think that you would walk away. They thought that they would always have access to you. They didn't appreciate when you were there. They didn't appreciate what you did when you were there. And now that you are gone, they're starting to realize they messed up. That they messed up. It's funny because I was, um, I, be, <laughs> I was up in the comment section anyways on instagram and it was a post about um marrying marrying quick um you know is, is it a point where it's too soon to marry or whatever but it was specifically about people marrying very quick and 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 more so just about people knowing what they want these people didn't know what they want they didn't know what they had but the point that i'm trying to make about this post is that Someone said, oh, someone said that um, they had that. They said, I had that, and I'm afraid that I'll never get it back because I wasn't ready. I'm like, wow, that's very deep because there's people out here in situations where they feel like they aren't ready. And I had watched a movie, too. It's funny. <laughs> I had watched a movie um, just like that where the chick was not ready, okay? But in the end, they end up being together. But look. <laughs> Some people weren't ready to bring you on. Some people weren't ready to bring you in. Some people weren't ready to have you around. And I mean, that's okay if that's what they need, if that's where they are at. But like I said, for some, it's already too late. For some, you had to walk away. For some, access denied. For some, the access will be denied when they try to come back around and say that they messed up and say that you know to give them another chance to say that they are now ready to do business with you to say that now they appreciate you because they see everything that you had did in the past they didn't value it then until it was gone until it was taken away from them and now they're thinking wow i don't have that i don't have that but when they had it they didn't appreciate it when they had it it felt good when they had it you you know you were of a service to them you guys were a service to one another but now that they don't have you they're starting to see your value they're starting to see just how valuable that you are they're starting to see that you approached it with nothing but unconditional love you approached that situation you approached that person with nothing but unconditional love and for some they may never experience that ever again in life you are the one who got away you are the one who stood out out of all of the people that they've dealt with. You are the one who stood out the most. They played their hand. They went to see what else was out there. They had to. It's a part of their process. You can't blame them. It's a part of, it's a part of their journey. But they went to see what else was out there. They tried to talk themselves out of it. They said that they was tripping. They, to they told themselves that they were tripping. But now they're realizing maybe they wasn't tripping. 
maybe you was who they thought that you were deep down inside. Maybe you was that person. You was that chick. You was that guy. Like, and they didn't really realize it when they had you around. Like, you are the one who got away. Whether you moved away, whether you just distanced yourself mentally, physically, you're the one who got away. You are. But you're the prize. <laughs> you're the prize. So they're now they're realizing, like, wow, they actually were, you know, special in a way. Like, they were something. They were of value. They have, like, they realize that you have the credentials that you said that you had. They realize that, that you wasn't just talking. You're the one who got away. They went, they, they, they sought, <laughs> they experienced, which they had to. They had to for their own peace of mind. They had to for their own growth and development. They had to, because who wants to just live life, you know, one way? They had to go and see, like, what life was doing. But they realized that... They would rather have you. <laughs> they would rather have you. Now, for some of these people, they know that they messed up bad. So they don't know how to come back around. They don't know how to come back and propose that offer to you because they have messed up so bad. They don't know if they'll be denied. For many of them, they are afraid of rejection. For some, they just threw in the towel. They're like, well, shoot, maybe next lifetime. <laughs> for some, they are still hopeful that the relationships that they encounter can somehow sum up to the relationship that they once had with you or that it can somehow sum up or surpass the relationship that they once desired with you or that they knew that they can have with you if they just would have took the next step or took the step in the right direction. For some, it's way too late. You've thrown in the towel. And for others, your situation is different. You may have an open arm for them, but at the same time, now you know how to deal with them. At the same time, you're not going to allow them to play with you anymore. You're not going to allow them to devalue you. You're not going to allow them to breadcrumb you. Because quite honestly, that didn't feel good. <laughs> that didn't feel good, but it was what you accepted. And now you, you've, you've had time to sit with yourself. You had time to grow. You had a lot of opportunity to think. Okay. <laughs> you had a lot of space and opportunity to think. And now your values are higher. Your standards are higher. Your boundaries are set and you're not the one to be played with. So when these people come and they attempt to approach you on some, you know, whatever it is that y'all had in the past or y'all didn't have. Like I said, for some, this is a relationship with your family. They didn't value you when you were there, when you were around, when you did stuff, when you took the kids places. They didn't value that. So some are going to come running back because they missed that. They want that old thing back. <laughs> they want that old thing back. And for some, they have never admitted that it was even like a thing, which is cool. <laughs> it's fine and dandy to each his own, to each situation is own. But now you're in a, like where you were back then versus where you are now, you're in a totally different mental space. So things that you would accept, things that you um, value, things that you cared about, you may no longer care about or you may no longer move in that way. So when they come to you, they're going to have to come correct. Quite honestly, they're going to have to come correct. Or this could be it. This could be it. You are the one who got away. <laughs> You're like that skip song that they later found out was fire. OK, they went back and visit that song. <laughs> They went back and they revisited that song. Matter of fact, I do you one better. They sat with themselves and they created a song. They created a song based off of the experiences that they've had with you. 
they've created a song in their mind based off of the goodness gracious that you have brought to their life you have changed these you have changed people like in the most tremendous way some people ain't never dealt with nobody like you before they ain't never seen nobody like you before they ain't never felt nobody like you before they never loved nobody like you before you are the one who got away you're the one who slipped away you slipped right through the crack and now you're gone so it's up to you to make a decision like okay when this person comes back around am i gonna be open arms do i show them tough love or do i just love them completely and unconditionally as you may once have or as you may do <laughs> or maybe you don't some of these people maybe you've never loved them unconditionally and now you're realizing that so it's like when you got away it was actually a breath of fresh air <laughs> it was a breath of fresh air you had to go and learn lessons you had to go and figure out what it is that you wanted just like they did just like they did just like they are doing and for some you realize that it was never unconditional love in the first place so when you left, it was a breath of fresh air. You are the one who got away. It was a breath of fresh air. You had to. You had to. It's what you needed. It's what your soul desired. It's what your soul needed. You are the one who got away. I'm trying to tell you. Like that skits on, they later found out was fire. They revisited that song and they listened to it and they said, oh, shoot. I'm tripping. I didn't get that the first time I heard that song. I didn't hear that. But now that song is moving through their body. Now that song is touching their soul. Like, that's what you're doing to them. That's that's what you're doing. <laughs> you like that skip song they later found out was fire. That song is fire. And now they got that song on repeat. Now they can't get enough of that song. Now they can't get enough of that song. <laughs> So look, this video is different, but um, this is what came up, okay? Somebody needs to hear this. <laughs> Somebody needs to hear this. So if this video resonates in any way, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. If you are not a member on this channel, channel already, I invite you to become a member on this channel because we lit over on the membership side. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.